Now, if we now want to do the same thing for e to the x using McLaren's theorem, if we let e to the x be equal to a0a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x cubed, a to the 0 is equal to a to the, a to the 0 as e to the 0 is 1. Therefore, a to the 0 is 1. So we've got one term. For the next term, we do d dx of e to the x, so differentiating this side. Differential of e to the x is itself, and we differentiate this side, you get nothing from this. We're going to get a1, 2a2x, 3a3x squared. a to the 0 is equal to a1, as e to the 0 is 1, because if you put x is 0 in here, these two terms will disappear and all the other ones as well. So you're going to get a to the 1 is also equal to 1. If you do d dx again of e to the x and of this side, so you're going to get e to the x on this side, 2a2, this will disappear, 6a3x. You got a to the 0 is going to be equal to 2a2, as e to the 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, a to the 2 is, 2a to the 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, a to the 2 will be equal to 2 times 1, which I'm going to write as 1 over 2 factorial. Again, repeat again, differentiating. So, differentiating at this side, you're going to get e to the x. Differentiating at this side, you're just going to get 6a3, etc. e to the 0 will be equal to 6a3, as e to the 0 is equal to 1. 6a3 will be equal to 1. Therefore, a to the 3 will be equal to 1, 3 times 2 times 1, writing 6 like that. So we can write it as 1 over factorial. If we repeat, we can see there's a pattern here. We'll give that a to the 4 will be 1 over 4 factorial, a to the 5 will be 1 over 5 factorial, a to the 6 will be 1 over 6 factorial, a to the 7 will be 1 over 7 factorial. So e to the x will be equal to it was equal to a to zero a one x plus a cubed x squared etc. From our original statement, now putting in the values, we've got e to the x will be equal to one plus one times x plus one over two factorial x squared plus one over three factorial x cubed plus one over four factorial x to the four plus one over five factorial x to the five plus one over six factorial x to the six plus 1 over 7 factorial x to the 7. So e to the x will be equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial plus x to the 6 over 6 factorial plus x to the 7 over 7 factorial.